back everyone we're out on the cbsa back lot this morning and i'm so stoked because we're going to be trying guacamole we're going to be talking about the history of guacamole it's all ahead of national guacamole day this upcoming weekend this saturday we are joined by jerry Leonardo, and nino from three local spots where we can enjoy that guacamole and we're going to start off with you guys here from city tacos uh jerry joining us this morning thank you jerry for being with thank us thank you for having us uh wanna I want you to start off by telling us about the history of guacamole, and this is while Eddie starts kind of preparing some. Well, for us, guacamole right? actually comes from Mexico, uh, Mexico and uh, South America. Uh, the Aztecs uh, used it as an aphrodisiac. Okay. When two guacamole, when two avocados were on the same vine, it was a sign of fertility and love. Okay. Uh, and it was actually introduced to the world by the Spaniards during the conquista. I love it. This is so cool. So what's like the secret to making some good guacamole? What do you Well, be to beautiful use? avocados and simplicity. The uh, original uh, guacamole uh, was plain, just avocado. And then it kind of morphed into something a little bit different. But we try to keep it very simple, simple ingredients, salt, pepper, uh, onion, cilantro, tomato, and a cotija cheese to kind of bring yeah. it in and all in. So, I mean, the essence is probably just having just the best ingredients, the best avocados, onions, tomatoes, that kind of stuff. And house avocados than. are yeah. the absolute best for there we go. guacamole. Easy to do. Uh, tell us about City Tacos. Well, City Tacos is known for our tacos. We have about 20 tacos on the menu. Of course, we have guac and chips uh, available for our guests as well. It's a great a little appetizer, but uh, we, we make tacos we love. Do you we have, have a favorite? Well, I have many favorites. <laughs> they're, they're all my babies, but uh, we have seven locations here in San Diego. One yeah. in uh, Los Angeles at the USC campus. And we're opening a new location in Ocean Beach uh, oh, nice. on the 25th. Okay, I love your, it's the North Park location that you have there, right? Well, that's the original that's, location. Okay, I was going to say, I we're, love we're, that spot. We're in La Mesa, we're in Encinitas, we're in Sorrento Valley, we're in Pacific Beach. Okay. Uh, just all over San Diego. Well, exciting to have your new your new location that you're going to be opening. I uh, want to jump over here. We got Leonardo. From Novo Brazil Brewing. Good morning to you. Good morning, Thanks sir. Thanks for being How are with you? us. Great. Uh, want you to show off. I mean, when we talk about the guac, of course, that's a, a, a fantastic option, but there are a lot of meals that you have here that can kind of pair well with the guac, right? Oh, yeah. So, as Jerry said, our the guac starts from avocado. We like to keep it simple. Our recipe just have uh, salt, lime juice, and, and pepper uh, because we pair with most of our plates. Um, especially the carne asada nachos, carne asada fries, the tacos, um, goes really well, just chips and salsa, right. guac, you know. What's um, this big hunk of meat you got here? This is uh, one of the favorite cuts, the Brazilian favorites called picanha. We're gonna be trying some tacos soon for everybody. Oh, nice. And then um, the, the guac pairs with all, uh, most of our plates and it pairs as well with our Nova Beach Lager that we just launched. Yeah. And uh, we're, we're celebrating the Oktoberfest tomorrow, it's starting tomorrow. And then um, the, the Nova Beach Lager is 4% with coconut water. Okay, a little it's bit lighter a, there. Yeah, nice. a great beer to pair as well was uh, with the guac and the and the food and do you guys have several locations where can people yes we eat? have the nova uh, novo nova at the ocean beach okay and then novo lane avenue location the main industry the otai ranch mall location we opened imperial beach last year and we're about to open oh, a new nice. location the westfields mall wow. mission valley Awesome. Congratulations yeah. to both Thank of you, you on the new locations. I love it. Want to just get over here to Fisher, San Diego. Good morning, Nino. Hello, Thanks for being with us. You? And what was your name? Jessica. Jessica. Nino and Jessica, uh, tell us about the options that you have for us here and how maybe guacamole can enhance the meal of it. Yeah. Uh, you know, in every table that has Mexican food, we have to have guacamole. Right. That's exactly. for sure. It's a necessity. We also have our guacamole. It's a very simple recipe. It comes with a creamy, secret ingredient, but it, ca it casts with avocado, tomato, onion, serrano, some olive oil, and of, of course the chips. Is that uh, pomegranate on this one? Yeah, it's pomegranate. Yeah, this is a very typical dish in Mexico, which is uh, launched every single September of, uh, of the year. Uh, it's a chile poblano en nogada. Yum. Normally it's topped with uh, beef and pork, and since we are a seafood restaurant, we, we stop it with shrimp. So it's a new recipe, it comes to, uh, it comes out to be a great, great dish. These and, are I'm and sorry. remind people where you're located. Just we're in Little Italy. Italy. We just have one location. One we location. just opened three months ago. Oh, congratulations! And we're doing great things. There. Awesome. Yeah. All right, I love it. You got several options, ways to celebrate this upcoming Saturday. We've got a quick break in store. We'll be right back after this. Stay with us.